What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest Fossil Gen 5 smartwatch. Now this is a brand new Google Wear OS smartwatch packed with some pretty decent specs along with NFC, AMOLED display and lots more. So first of all inside the box you will find a user manual, a magnetic USB charging cable and last but certainly not least the smartwatch itself. So design wise it's a good looking watch. It looks and feels very well designed. You have a 44 millimeter case made completely from steel alloy and finished in black. Now the build quality is pretty good. Now on the front we have a 1.3 inch AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass protection and the watch is in fact powered by the Snapdragon 3100 along with 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage. Now usually most other Google Wear OS watches ship with around 512 gigs of RAM and this has to be the first Google Wear OS that I've seen which ships with 1 gig of RAM and the result is very clear as you can see there is no lag whatsoever, meaning this is currently the fastest Google Wear OS smartwatch we've ever seen so far on this channel. Furthermore, you have Bluetooth version 4.2, GPS, Wi-Fi, and this is running, of course, the latest version of Google Wear OS. Now, battery life promises 36 hours from a single charge. Furthermore, you do have a 380M water resistance. Now, the watch dimensions, it's 44 millimeters in diameter and 12 millimeters in thickness and weighs only 63.3 grams. Now the straps are made from silicone finished in black and the watch does feel very comfortable on the wrists. It's rather on the slim and light side and I have to say I do like it quite a bit. Furthermore the straps are removable and you can replace it quite easily with your own 22mm band. Now to give you an idea of the size of this watch I will bring in the Samsung Galaxy watch. So this is how they fare side by side. You can straight away see that the Galaxy watch is kind of much bigger and bulkier in size. Now to be exact it's 46 millimeters in diameter with a 1.3 inch screen and it's 13 millimeters in thickness and weighs 63 grams. Whereas the Fossil is 44 millimeters in diameter with a 1.3 inch screen so same screen sizes and 12 millimeter in thickness and weighs 63.3 grams. Similar size to the Galaxy Watch, you've got the same screen size, you've got more bulk and thickness to the Galaxy Watch and overall the Fossil does give a more compact experience. Now on the side of the watch we have three buttons and the first button will allow you to create custom categories, the middle button will actually take you to your system apps and the last button will take you directly to your workouts. So you can select and start any workout you like from here. And on the other side you do have a single loudspeaker which means you will be able to take your phone calls on this on the go. Now at the bottom of the watch we have an optical heart rate sensor and your charging pins and I'll quickly show you the charger working. So here is the charger, place it on top and plug this into any USB source and you'll be charged up in no time. This supports fast charging so you can get from 0 to 100 in around 70 to 80 minutes max and then that will give you up to 36 hours of battery life depending on your usage. So here is your default watch face, it is the Google Wear OS watch face and when the watch face times out you will see an always on display. Now the always on display means that you can see the time whether the screen is on or off. Um, it is quite useful but it does consume a little bit more battery. Now you can turn this feature off if you wish to do so from settings. Now that's the default watch face. If you'd like to change, keep the center press for two seconds and then you'll be presented with some other watch faces that you can immediately change to. And if you click on see more watch faces, you will then have a rather large collection of different watch faces that you can immediately change to. So one of the plus points of the Fossil Watch is you have a huge range of watch faces built in, but you also have the Google Play Store and you're able to download even more watch faces. So the collection is very large. Now something I forgot to mention is the middle button is also a scroll and it allows you to scroll your content very nice and smoothly and again a very nice touch, good feature. And now I will give you a few examples of the selection of watch faces available 
on this watch. Here we go. Now let's go through some of the watch features. If we swipe down from the top, you've got your quick toggles with settings, battery information, your Google Pay and aeroplane mode. So if we swipe to the right, you've got your Google Home page and you'll be able to do your regular Google Assistant stuff. So what is the weather like tomorrow in London? Tomorrow in London, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 30 and low of 17 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's your Google Assistant. Now if we swipe up, you've got all your notifications, emails and text messages. If I open up one of my emails, you can actually reply directly on the watch. Now, if we swipe to the left, you've got your step counter. If we swipe again, you've got the local weather. If we keep going, you've got your events, your heart rate sensor, and then heart points. So let's go back. Now, if we click the middle button, you've got all your apps. We'll quickly go through them together. You've got the Google Play Store, Settings, Agenda, Alarm, Cardiogram, Contacts, Find My Phone, Google Fit, Fit Breathe, Fit Workout, Fossil, Google Pay, Media Controls, Nike Run Club. You've got phone, so you can make phone calls via Bluetooth and take them directly on the watch. You got the Play Store, Reminders, Settings, Spotify, Stopwatch, Timer, Torch, tr Google Translate, and Weather. So the first thing I wanna do is check out the Play Store, show you what to expect. This is not going to be the full version of the Google Play Store. This is gonna be the Google Wear OS version. So if we just go to recommended apps, it'll give you a few recommendations on popular apps that you can download. So you can see Messenger, Spotify, we've already got installed and you can see over here what is available telegram calculator compass offline maps zombies run i guess that's a game and the list goes on so there are lots of apps that you can download and i really do like that handy scroll button so this is a full featured Android smartwatch running Google Wear OS, gives you lots of different features and options, great fitness tracking capabilities. You do have NFC, so you can set up your Google Pay and make mobile payments directly from the watch. You have a uh, phone capability, so you can make phone calls directly from the smartwatch. So here are my contacts. I can just click on anyone and start dialing their number straight away directly from my watch. So it seems like Bluetooth phone calls are not working on my watch. Instead, I am getting this loud static noise. I have updated the firmware and I have restarted the watch a few times and the result is exactly the same. I'm just getting a static noise instead of hearing my phone call. So maybe a firmware update will resolve this. Maybe my watch is faulty. Um, I have contacted Fossil and hopefully they will get back to me on this. Meanwhile, if you own a Fossil Gen 5, then do let me know if you're getting the same static issue. So I've got two watches on my wrist, the Fossil and the Galaxy Watch, and we are gonna test out the screen on hand raising capabilities for both watches at the same time and see how they perform. So here we go. So Galaxy Watch, and then straight after, split second after Fossil Watch. Let's do it again. So you can see they're very, very close. The Galaxy Watch is the fastest I've ever seen. But I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the Fossil. It's not bad at all. We'll do it once more. 
here we go very responsive so the galaxy watch is still the king of screen on hand rays but i have to say the fossil watch is not bad at all so good job fossil so whilst we have both watches on our wrist i'm running a quick heart rate test at the same time and we're going to see what results we get and here are the results for the heart rate test 124 beats per minute on both watches so not a healthy heart rate by any means but i'd like you to know that i'm not feeling well at the moment and i am getting quite high fevers so my heart rate is rather on the higher side but on the plus point you've got an accurate heart rate sensor in the new fossil watch so there you have it guys that was the new fossil gen 5 smartwatch so here are my thoughts on this device this smartwatch is beautifully designed with a gorgeous AMOLED display. It's very compact and slim and extremely comfortable on the wrist. This is the fastest Google Wear OS watch I have ever experienced. And it also appears to be the most compact Google Wear OS watch. So many things Fossil have got right on this watch, such as accurate heart rate and GPS sensor, three ATM water resistance, NFC payments, fast screen on hand rays, lots of watch faces, removable straps, superb performance with an always on screen option. Now Bluetooth calls are also supported, but unfortunately my watch has an issue where every time I try to make a phone call, I get static noise. Now I'm thinking it could be an issue with just my watch and I have contacted Fossil to see what they can do and I will update you guys on that situation as it gets resolved. Furthermore, the loudspeaker quality is not great and it does distort quite a bit. So when you're listening to music or just talking to the Google Assistant, the poor speaker quality is definitely a letdown. Finally, let's talk about battery life. I had the always on screen off and the watch stayed connected to my smartphone via Bluetooth throughout, which is required if you want your notifications, etc. So I could achieve only 20 hours of battery life. Screen brightness was also on medium, so nowhere near that 36 hour mark. Yes, there are plenty of battery saving options, but on normal mode, you can achieve barely 20 hours. So this means you will need to charge your watch every day. And this is quite an issue for me, as I am used to the Samsung Galaxy Watch lasting me a full two to three days. Now, even the Tick Watch Pro will give you nearly two days of battery life. So that brings us to my top performing smartwatch chart of 2019, showing you all the latest smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the new Fossil Gen 5 has taken position four on this chart with a rating of 8.9 out of 10. Now, if Bluetooth calls were working fine, then this watch would have ranked position three on this chart just above the TicWatch Pro. Yes, the Fossil Gen 5 is in fact faster in performance than the TicWatch Pro, and it is much lighter and slimmer in design. So bottom line, with a few minor niggles to my watch, I can still say that the Fossil Gen 5 is the best Google Wear OS smartwatch you can currently buy. Now I believe the issues with the battery and the Bluetooth calls might be resolved with a firmware update and if this does happen you have yourself a no-brainer and I will keep you guys updated on the situation of my watch and with that being said I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out meanwhile thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day see you in the next one guys